going on? K Campus Ty Cole here with Baller Alerts. And we got a new single out right now. It's going crazy. Oh, definitely definitely yeah. saw the video. I definitely loved it. Definitely Appreciate loved the it. drill. It. Yeah, the drill undertone to the, the video. It kind of made me feel like I was back in back in my own hometown in New York City. So yeah, that's all. That's definitely all I enjoyed it. I we shot the video on his projects too, in uh, Bronx too. I saw. So before we get into the video, you know, we, we want to know here at Ball Alert and the fans want to know, you recently signed an independent partnership deal with TikTok. Yeah. What was it in the deal that made you sign the dotted line? Um, I would say for the most part, it's just a full circle moment. It's just... You know, TikTok is the biggest platform of the decade right now. So, mm -hmm. you know, we all know what TikTok platform do as far as for singles and artists. And, you know, we've seen it. We've seen it firsthand with Lottery, you know, saying with the Renegade dance with my with my own single. So it, it, it was only right to just, you know, saying spend the block with TikTok real quick and just do a do a do a right partnership. You know, saying really just get my just do because I, I, I feel like last time I didn't get my just do so. You know, it's just me being a businessman and stepping up as a CEO and just making the right decision and, and doing good deals. Mm. Now, is working the social media, working with, I should say, social media networks, the routes artists should go in in order to be heard by the masses? No, nah, everybody got their own formula. I can't tell. I can't tell somebody else to use my formula because it might not work for them. You mm. know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta find out where your audience is. You got to... You got to cater to your fans and, and just know what platforms work for, for you. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what type of music you're putting out. So okay. everybody got their own route when it comes to that. Yeah. Actually, I want to pivot back a little bit about the Renegade Challenge because you felt like you didn't get the recognition that you, you know, rightfully did deserve. Why do you think that was? And how are you hoping to change that moving forward with your new material um, on the app with TikTok? Um... I think that was because I think the platform was new and it really didn't expose, you know what I'm saying, who was behind the record at that time. You know what I'm saying? Plus the plus the song was called Lottery and it got changed to Renegade on the platform, like the dance. So it was like, it was a bunch of confusion. You know what I'm saying? In my mind, I feel like that record should have went diamond the way it had an impact on the world. You know what I'm saying? It went platinum, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Platinum Plex. But the impact it had, I, I believe it, it should have did way better than what it did. But I'm forever grateful, you know what I'm saying, for the opportunity. And yeah. I'm blessed, you know what I'm saying? And we still here making making hits to this day. So we outside. Understanding TikTok's up and down battle with pushing out Black creatives on the platform, how do you think your partnership deal with the platform will push them to help amplify Black artists in the future? Um, Shout out to my boy Notch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a good friend of mine who recently got hired at TikTok and he's Black. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna represent for me and make sure, you know what I'm saying, the just do get get done. We got it, we had these conversations all the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like this time around, it 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 uh the light will get shined. It got shined on Jalea last time. I made sure the world knew who Jalea was and she went off and did a, a, a lot of amazing things. So we we got our just do when I did mine, you know what I'm saying? I made I made it clear, but we can do it again. Okay, that's a good answer. In your new record with Be Love, you can hear the drill elements in the record. Kind of what I mentioned earlier when we first got on here. With drill being the new quote unquote it sound, how long do you think this will last? Or do you think drill is here to stay? I can't call it. Everything, everything got its time when it comes to music. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, trap music got its time, drill music got its time, RB had a time when it was slow and it came back around. Like everything got a it, it, it do a full circle, you know, every like five, six years, everything switch. But I'm pretty sure that the movement will last in New York for, for a minute, depending on who, who changed the sound up in the next few years. But, you know, I did that record uh, like September last year. I did that record before I even heard Uzi, I Wanna Rock. So mm -hmm. you know, I was, I was, I want to say I was ahead of it because Drill been out, but as far as like the South, I feel like I tapped into it a little early, but I put the record out later on. So, but it all worked out. But, you know what I'm saying, going back to what you said, Music is music, man. You never know what we might get from New York Knicks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, drill artists are really taking over. And one in particular who's from New York, Ice Spice, is everywhere. I mean, yeah. she is everywhere. The sound is everywhere. 
she has such an impact on what's happening now in music. You know, what is, you know, your thoughts on, on Ice Spice and would she be someone that you would love to, to work with? Ice Spice, fine as hell, tell her to call me. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you know what I'm saying? If, they, if that time comes, you know what I'm saying? We run into each other and the vibes are there and we want to get in the studio. That's what we're going to do. But she is fine as hell. Tell her to come. Okay. There we have it. Um, who do you think is doing the drill genre justice these days? Uh, R.P. Pop. Pop Smoke's going crazy on the drill. Um, Fabio. That's my dog. Um, be loved. Everybody who out there tapping in, it's a lot of it's a lot of artists out there. My, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of underground acts out there going crazy on the come up, but you know, I ain't I ain't gonna sit here and say I'm just drilled out and I just know every drill rapper, but right. I know a few that's holding it down, you know what I'm saying? So, so shout out to them. Okay. With music videos these days, a lot of artists' visuals don't go with the sound. Do you think music videos are still important or is it more about the eargasm? Um Video is always important. That the branding and the marketing and the and the and the, and the visual of what you selling is always important. They go hand in hand. A lot of artists get away with just you know what I'm saying putting some just some running gun raw shit out because the song is so good and impacted the culture in a way. But you know what I'm saying all that shit important. Everything go hand in hand because the, the the folks want to see you living that lifestyle or just the image of you living that lifestyle in these videos that go with the song. So I think all that shit is important. Okay. What in your life keeps you going and pushes you to never give up? God, family, you know what I'm saying? The passion, you know what I'm saying? Goals that I ain't met yet that I feel like I'm almost, you know what I'm saying, close to. You know, I still got, I got big affirmations. I got big, you know what I'm saying, big dreams. I'm still fulfilling. So that yeah. keeps me going. Just the, uh, the motivation and inspiration for my fans that, you know, that's tuned into my career and just been on this journey with me the whole time. Okay. You captioned on a recent post of yours, I always felt Ice Cold was a bigger record than what's on your mind. But it yeah. went platinum in the streets, so it's a win. Now, what song from another, you know, mainstream artist or artist you felt was big, but another record on their catalog should have been bigger? Um, shit, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of underground cuts that, um, that's a, that's a tough question for me on the spot. But um, for example, I got a, a free free thug. You know what I'm saying? It's a song I listen to all the times called "Just How It Is" on on one of Thug's last projects. You know what I'm saying? That was my favorite. Everybody got their favorite, but the label know what to pick. That's gonna be the ear candy for the radio. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. every artist, I didn't I didn't hear the album and like this one I like. And of course, you know we know how that go. We know how that go. We get all I'm familiar with that. It's like you have control, but then you kind of don't. You feel me? <laughs> what was it about Pretty Ones that made you say, yep, yeah, this is ready to be released to the world. This is the air record. This is when to get people going, jamming, and blasting this in their cars. Um, I just feel like it had a bop to it. It had a bounce to it. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was something new for me. And when I sent it to the uh, producers and, and my guy Verse, who sent me the beat, the instrumental, they loved it. Then I had like a, uh, I had a, um, I had something to do in New York. I took it to New York and I played it for all my New York partners and they was eating it up. So I was just like, shit, if they like it, you know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta go up top. You gonna make a record for, for a top. You gotta go up top and see the up top folks like. It. So if mm -hmm. they was fucking with it, I was like, shit, it's a win. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that was just a warm up. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just warming up for my independent releases. I got plenty more. That was just to get the year started off. I love that. What's, the prettiest record. This is the last question here for you. What's the prettiest record that's ever touched your ears? The prettiest record that ever touched my ears. Um, Whitney Houston, and I'll always love you. <laughs> mm. You feel okay. me? I that's the prettiest you. record right there. Okay. It gets you going, like it's like yo, like do you play nah, that? Nah, it don't get me going. I'm just, I'm just thinking of an artist that can just sing our ass off. R. P. Uh, Whitney, you know what I'm saying? That's just a record. Or Leah, let me know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Maxwell Prince Wings or Adele, like whoever got them just real, just beautiful angel voices. I love that. Okay, okay, okay. 
Is there any angel voice in particular that you would love to work with that's out right now? Um, let's see. R and B wise. Yep, R and B wise, or in general, but R and B wise. Um, let's see who I want to work with right now. Uh, Ella May, Kalani. Um, her most definitely her. My next single got a her sample in it, so. Her. Oh, for real. Yeah, it's called Spin the Block. Okay. I had sampled, uh, I had I had produced had co-produced it, and it got a sample of uh one of her songs on there, so. Ooh. That'd be a cool one. Can you Stay let us curious. know which song? It's on my Instagram. You go look at my Instagram. I put a snippet up. It's called Spin the Block. I feel like a three snippet sample is, you know what I'm saying? That's coming soon. My fans really anticipate Spin the Block. You know, okay. so that's going to be the next one. So be on the lookout. Can't wait to hear it and can't wait to see it. K-Camp, it's always a pleasure chatting with you here at Baller Alert. Thank you for chatting with the ballers and continue with your much, 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 much more success in your Thank career. You, sir. Okay? I appreciate it. You got to spin the block.